let's take a look at some of the data flows that form the typical actions during checkout. Please note that the specific scenarios in this video are examples of the functionality of the Psycho Experience Accelerator storefront, which is provided with the Psycho Experience Commerce product. Both the Psycho Experience Accelerator storefront or your bespoke web shop, as well as the commerce engine itself, can be customized to fit your business needs and therefore might work slightly differently. Here, we're assuming that the shopper already has items in their cart and is navigating to the checkout page to enter their shipping details. All the rendering details are loaded from the Psycho web database. Shipping configuration data is retrieved from the commerce control panel items stored in the Psycho web database. Shipping data itself is retrieved from the shop's role. This data is pulled from the commerce entities table in the shared environments database. Now the shopper selects the shipping type and enter their shipping details. This data is pushed back to the shop's engine instance and stored against the cart in the commerce entities table in the shared environments database. <clears throat> Next, the shopper progresses to entering the billing and payment details. Again, rendering details are loaded from the Cycle Web database using the Cycle Web index. Shoppers enter their email address and then enters payment details, which are validated against the third-party payment provider. For example, integration provided. For example, the example of integration provided with the Cycle Experience Accelerator storefront is provided by Braintree. The, the payment token is then stored against the cart. Now the shopper will enter billing addresses and click. And when clicking next, the billing information is stored against the cart in the shared environments database. Finally, the shopper is going to confirm their order and complete the checkout. The confirmation page renderings um, Rendering details are loaded from the Cycro web database using the Cycro web index. The shopper hits the confirm button to complete the transaction and a request is made through to the shop's engine. Now the payment is confirmed with the third party payment provider, for example, Braintree. And a cart is converted into an order with, the pending st with a pending state and stored in the orders entity table in the shared environments database. Finally, a sellable, uh, item in, the sellable uh, item inventory is updated and reduced by the purchased quantity and stored in the environment's database. In order to update the indexes, an entity index uh, entry uh, is persisted to the shared environment database, uh, which will queue an update for the order scope index to be performed by a minion. And finally, the orders is added to the pending orders list. The order scope index is used in the administrative tools when querying for orders. The, minion, the minions role is an instance of the commerce engine that runs independently and supports asynchronous processing. This is designed for post order capture processing, as well as for any cleanup or pruning. <clears throat> even though it, similar to the other engine roles, are set up as a web service. In other words, it runs as a website in IIS or as a web app. It logically functions as a worker role and doesn't re retrieve any uh, web traffic. The background of the name minions is that the role is controlling a series of minions, each one with a specific task. For example, processing the orders as they come in, or updating the indexes uh, when orders, customers, or sellable items are, cr are created or changed. Therefore, as mentioned previously, when an entity index entry is persisted to the shared environments database, the engine will queue an update of the order scope index to be handled asynchron asynchronously by a minion role. The the minion reads the order from the shared environments database and updates the order scope index with the new data. The minions role also processes orders as they come in. This is a natural extension point for, for specific business logic. For example, pushing the orders out to an ERP system, updating stock levels in external systems and so on. 
in the default implementation, um, the default implementation is configured with a wait period to allow to allow a customer service representative to evaluate and possibly place an order on hold. After this period, the minions role will pick up the pending order, finalize the payment with the external payment provider, and change the order state to released. Hereafter, there likely there will likewise be a default wait period, after which the minions Role will pick up the released order and change its state to complete. So that covers the standard data flows for the checkout process. But for a load scenario, what architecture elements would be affected by sites which handle large amounts of orders? Sites with large amount of orders being placed will see load being placed on the following entities the storefront constant delivery instance, the shops role, the shared environments database, the minions role, and the order scope index. It's recommended to scale the resources of these entities to match the load as required. 